Stamp duty is an interesting topic. It's very complex. Um, there are three standard ways of dealing with stamp duty and everybody who doesn't fit into those three standard ways of dealing with stamp duty um, needs to take specialist advice. That's not what we're talking about here right now. So standard stamp duty for somebody who's buying a property to go and live in and they've owned a property before is based on a slab basis. That is to say you don't pay anything for the first £125,000 and then each significant slab after that pays stamp duty at a different rate. It's a bit like income tax. So you pay some money up to £250,000, you pay a different rate up to £925,000 and so on and so forth. And there's a tool on the Inland Revenue website to help you calculate that. It's fairly complex calculation I'm afraid. Um, if you're a first-time buyer, there is a different regime for you. If you're buying a property under £500,000, you will pay stamp duty um, on the basis of the first £300,000 is free and £300,000 to £500,000 is paid at 5%. And again, you can use the tool on the website to calculate that. If you're a first-time buyer, you've never owned a property before, but you're spending more than £500,000, I'm afraid you're in the first regime. Um, the third type of standard transaction, if you like, is a more commercial transaction where you are a person who's buying more than one property or at the time that you complete, you will own more than one property. So that's essentially like the first situation. So you will pay the standard rates and then they put a 3% surcharge on top of it. So if you're going to own a buy-to-let property or you're going to own more than one property after you complete, say two people have come to live together and they each own a property and they're only selling one to buy the other one. The only wrinkle with that is if you are going to sell the property, um, which puts you over the limit um, within the first 36 months, then you can apply for your money back. So let's say that you sell one property to buy the family home and the second property gets sold 12 months later, you can make an application to the HMRC to have that um, additional stamp duty refunded to you. There are completely separate rules for commercial transactions. They're more complex and I think they're also outside the scope of what we're talking about here. <laughs>